All right, HSCW's Denver Pauly, your champion of the WIC tournament, 160 pounds. Denver, what's it mean to get a conference title? Um, it's pretty sweet. The uh, kid in the finals ended up pinning me last night in a fluke incident, and it was, felt pretty good to go get him in the finals today. Yeah, how much did that motivate you from last night uh, going into today and maybe trying to make sure that something like that didn't happen? Uh, it was... It's definitely set a spark so I can go out because I knew that that kid shouldn't have pinned me in the first place and hasn't really set the day for me. Wild match in the finals. Walk us through it. Uh, we were pretty str The kid was pretty strong on his feet. Then we started like throwing each other, rolling around a little bit, and then he took bottom and I caught him in a stack, and that was pretty much it. You mentioned a lot of throws in that match. Is that something that you're normally pretty comfortable with doing? Uh, not not usually. I just like my normal takedowns, my double leg, but it just kind of happened in the moment. First half of the season comes to a close. How would you assess it went for you, and how do you try to build off this for the second half? Uh, first half of the season went pretty well for me besides a few losses, but I think I'm setting a pretty good tone for the second half. All right, Bryson Freeberg of Tri-Center is your champion at 170 pounds, Western Iowa Conference. Bryson, conference title under your belt, what's it mean? Uh, it's a pretty good feeling earlier in the year, getting a big tournament win. Had some good competition this weekend, so building off that off for the second half. Yeah, you've been off to a strong start this season. What's the secret? Um, I don't know if there's a big secret, but I'm not too much of a flashy wrestler, just working hard and grinding out those matches. Take us to your finals match, um, kind of a wild one. You were in control, but I'm sure there were a couple of moments there where it, it felt a little dicey to you, but what was the secret? Um, yeah, I got a little sloppy towards the end of the match, but props to John Johnson. He wrestled a really good match, but like I said, got sloppy, got some things to work on for the second half of the season. Last year you got to the state tournament. You were seconds away from getting to a semifinal. You still medaled, but how much is last year kind of sat on your mind? Uh, yeah, obviously I had a lot of close matches, and especially that one to get right into the semis. So I'm really gunning for a top spot on the podium this year, and I think i am got a good shot at doing that. All right, Logan Magnolias, Rex Johnson, the champion at 220 pounds. Uh, Rex, you're a conference champion. What does that mean? It uh, means a lot. Last year I got thir third place, got beat by Gardner. So I had him in the semis, and I got the win over him. So it was a good redemption match for me to come out on top. Yeah, the, the pattern today was kind of redemption. Luke Mazinski beat you last night. You beat him in the finals today. What did you learn from last night that maybe helped you? Uh, I just learned that I can't make, can't make mistakes. I got to come out and wrestle my match, and I got to stay on my offense, my neutral offense, and I just if I get on bottom, I need to get on my feet, and I got to keep scoring. Wild match. He kind of controlled the first start of it, then you end up getting the pin. What was it that flipped the switch for you? Um, I don't know, just being down, I didn't want to be down anymore, so I just get my offense going, and I got a kind of a lucky, lucky throw on there, so it just can't, didn't go, by, didn't go as the best match, but whatever works. Strong start to the year for you as we go into Christmas break. How do you try to build off that? Uh, just continue getting in shape and continue working on my, my offense and just keep getting better and better. All right, Logan Magnolia's Barrett Pitt, a champion of the Western Iowa Conference at 285 pounds. Uh, Barrett, just take us through your day and how it feels to get the conference title. Uh, it's definitely something that one of those goals that you set at the beginning of the year, you want to go out there, want to get that conference championship, not only as the duels on Friday night, the individual as a team, but also individual. So uh, it, was, it was definitely one of the goals that you set, but finally captured that goal and now just move on to the beginning, to January and Pierce, Nebraska. He wrestled Connor Murray from Missouri Valley in the finals. You guys kind of two different builds. You're a little shorter, stockier. He's taller and lankier. Did that change the, the way you, you attacked that match? No, every match is pretty much the same because I'm always a smaller guy, and uh, I just every, every match is the same. I want to tire him out, just keep pounding, keep going after him, and that's usually how they stall a lot. But uh, that was just another match, and you can't get worried when you're in situations like it was tonight or today. Crazy match towards the end. He got a reversal. Looked like he was going to get the, the upset, and then you're able to pin him with like one second left. Walk us through those final 20 seconds or so. Yeah, the biggest thing was once I got reversed, just stay calm. Don't, don't, be, don't get all – just think that the match is over. you got to keep fighting. And I knew I had that once I had that leg. I knew I had a chance to not only get the two but potentially get some back points and win the match. 
Team title as well for you guys, Edging Underwood. What's that mean? It means a lot because it really puts us on the map. Uh, I think there's a lot of questions going into this weekend, who is going to win it, Underwood, Missouri Valley, Logan. And I think we kind of put ourselves above a couple of those other teams with a win today. Going into Christmas break, what are you guys going to try to work on to get ready for the second half of the season? Uh, mostly me, probably uh, work a little bit, probably get a little bit stronger, try to power those stronger guys that are bigger than me a little bit more this Christmas break. And as a team, I think just keep fighting. I think we're we're a lot we're a lot better at this point than we were last year, and that, that's a big that's a big plus for us.